Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is going to be my update video. So today is Saturday, February 24th. Yeah, I think it's 24th. So I have some, I'm going to do some diamond painting and we're going to chat. So I just wanted to come on face to face to show you guys what I've been doing stitching wise. So if you remember, I am working on the three small patterns that Cherry Hill Stitchery put out for Valentine's Day. I finished the first one I started and today I fully finished it. So I wanted to show you. Ah, isn't it so friggin' cute? So I purchased this board with this piece on there and the bow already on it from Starry Night Studios. Alyssa does such a fabulous job. And I had an idea in mind of how I wanted to finish this. So this is stitched on black perforated paper. And what I did was I took a piece of red felt and used pinking shears and cut that. Then I backed the perforated paper piece with a piece of black cardstock to sort of hide the holes in the paper. Then what I did was I glued the paper down to the felt and I think I used, what did I use to glue that down? Oh, I just used my creative station, the permanent adhesive. So I had done the piece of cardstock where it was double sided. I put heat adhesive on both sides. So stuck it to the back of the paper and then stuck that on there. And then what I did as far as the rickrack, I used four separate pieces because it's just easier for me to do it that way. So that's why I decided to use these little things called sprinkles. They're adhesive, but I put glue on the back and I matched them to the pink in the piece. So just to hide the rough edges on where the rickrack met. And then I just used fabric glue to glue this whole thing to this piece. I think it turned out really cute. And this is how I'm going to finish the other two. So I started stitching the second one, but I'm not very far. And I'm going to hang all these together because I ordered two more of these boards from Alyssa. I'm just waiting for them to come in because she ran out. So I think that turned out really cute. So the second one I'm doing is this one that says, I love you. And so far I'm only this far in. I only have the Y done right there. So I started in the center and then the other one says 14 February and they all use the same colors. So I was like, that's going to be perfect to finish them all the exact same way. So, and I'm going to hang them all together. So that's going to look really cute. And I just, I just took my time this morning because I finishing is my least favorite part of, of all of this. So I just really took my time as far as, cause I just use tacky glue to glue the rickrack onto the paper, onto the edge of the paper. I think it turned out really cute though. It looks really, really good. I really love it. So, but all right, so I'm going to pause. We're going to get set up so you guys can see me diamond paint for a little bit. And I have a couple little things I want to chat with you about. And then that's it. Okay. So if you hear a noise in the background, that's my little space heater. It is actually pretty chilly here today. So I have the little heater going in this room. All right. So let's grab the black because that's what I'm going to do during this because I'm not going to be talking that long. But yesterday and Thursday and Friday, difficult work days just long days. I worked until almost nine o'clock PM on Thursday. And then we had a witness on Friday that spoke very, very quickly. And every other word out of their mouth was the word like, so they would like go like 
I'm going to like go like, oh, it, it drove us bananas just the whole day. It's, it, it was difficult. It was difficult. So I was very glad that yesterday was Friday and I have two days off of work because as of next week, we're on the calendar every day so far, but Tuesday, which doesn't mean anything because they will probably try to fill her in on Tuesday. So yesterday I was just, my brain was just fried. So we had salmon for dinner and just watched, we watched Farmer Wants a Wife because we're watching that. I really like that show. So we watched that, watched some YouTube, got in the hot tub, and then by like five after nine, we were in bed. Bill got up really early this morning to go to a fishing flea market with our neighbor around the corner. He was gone most of the day. He got home about three o'clock and then he was, he left just about right before I started filming the video, he left to go play poker. So he'll be gone till probably 11 o'clock tonight. So my plan after I'm done this video and getting it up on YouTube and all of that, my plan is to go downstairs and watch two movies. One movie I want to watch is on Netflix. It's the new Tyler Perry movie called Mia Culpa. And then the second one is on Amazon Prime called Foe. I had seen a preview. And so what I have found is that recently... When I'm diamond painting or stitching, I have to watch something that I've seen before because I find myself, especially when I'm watching movies, I find myself missing bits and pieces. So I have been, if I want to watch a movie, I've been watching it when I go downstairs to go to bed at night. Because I haven't been stitching in the evening. If I don't get to stitch during the day, I haven't been stitching. I've been going, getting in bed when Bill goes to bed at 8 o'clock. Because by the time I wash my face, brush my teeth, do all that, it's almost 8.30. So I'm getting in bed. If I watch a movie, that puts me at 10 o'clock, you know, going to bed. So that's what I've been doing. And I have found it more enjoyable because I can fully pay attention to the movie. So that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do tonight as far as those two movies. And that'll probably take me, by the time I get this video up, that'll take me almost to probably when he is home. Not to mention I need to make myself dinner. So what I am going to try, I think, is making a grilled cheese sandwich in the air fryer because it was in the recipe book with our air fryer. And I use six, four, I use low carb bread, cheese is low carb, and I use spray butter. So that is probably what I'm going to try for dinner. I, as of right now, I haven't lost any weight this week. In, in fact, I stepped on, see, I'm the person now that has been getting on the scale every day. I know that's not wise, but I just like to check. And I actually was up 0.2 today. And I know that's not fat because I haven't been eating nearly enough food to be gaining fat, water weight, any number of things. So I have been blessed so far to lost weight consistently every week that I've been doing this since January 1st. So my weigh-in day is Monday. So we will see on Monday if I've lost anything, anything in the downward direction, right? But I was losing pretty consistently one and a half to two pounds a week. We'll see. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I meant to grab it. I get this snack box and I just got the first one. It's called Keto Crate where you get snacks, chocolate, things like that that are keto friendly, that are low carb. I'm always looking for not to just start incorporating a bunch of candy and all that kind of stuff, but maybe like a bar if I'm out or just something. I found these bars 
and they are only three net carbs and they're nut and seed bars. Really, really good. And I want to say they're called monk something. I can't remember. But if I remember, I will link it in the description box below. I found, so I, it was only one in the crate. And then I looked them up on Amazon and I was able to get a box of 12. Now, the keto stuff is not cheap. I want to say for the box of 12, it was like $29. So that's like $2 and something per bar. But if you're buying this stuff like in the store, you're going to pay that much. So, and I don't eat one every day. Like it took me two days to eat one of the bars. I do know that it's 150 calories and three carbs per bar. And, and it was pretty good because it has chocolate on the bottom and it doesn't, nothing tastes fake. Nothing tastes chemical. And it's got like sunflower seeds and peanuts and things like that. So really, really good. And I was very glad to have found that in the box. And, you know, if I can find one item I like out of the box that I can incorporate into my eating plan, it's worth it for me. But yeah, it's, you know, eating, staying on track and all of that, it's not easy. But I, you know, I have learned some things doing it this time especially doing intermittent fasting and low carb because I've never tried those two things together. What I was telling Bill the other day, I said, you know, I tell people now, whatever you decide you're going to do, if you're going to do something, because any diet plan works if you follow it to the T. However, if you are not willing to do something for the rest of your life, don't even start it. Don't even start like the two times I did Metafast, I lost 30 or 40 pounds each time. But because I just wasn't able to sustain it because it's incredibly restrictive and you're eating their food, like packaged food, really hard to sustain that. That is not how I wanted to live the rest of my life. So yeah, don't even start it if you're not willing to do it for the rest of your life. Um, and I, I've been doing, I felt a lot better. I've been doing pretty good. Okay, so do you guys watch TikTok? If you have heard, there is a woman that put up a 50-part series on TikTok called Who the Fuck Did I Marry? where she talks about this guy she married that was a pathological liar. To say this is a wild and crazy ride is an understatement. I listened to the last couple parts today and finally finished it. It was starting to seep into my brain, so I had to give it a rest yesterday. I feel for this woman so very much. It has gone viral. Like it, It's crazy how many people are talking about it. So... But before I even found that, Jill had sent me the playlist. And it's funny because the day before Jill sent me the playlist, I was watching a video from Michelle McDaniel. She is a fitness coach, but she critiques other people's videos on YouTube and like weight loss trends and things like that. She's actually really entertaining. She did a video on something called water talk. You know how there's like floss tubes. So like there's, you know, a division of YouTube where if it's called floss tube, it's all about cross stitch. This thing called water talk, which I had never heard of. So I was watching her video and I'm like, okay, I have to go search this out. It's where women are making, it's like they're making up, drinks with water and crystal light packs and the sugar, um, you know, the sugar free drink packs and adding in sugar free syrup. Like they're making a pina colada or strawberry shortcake, or, I mean, it's like all these recipes. Well, this has gotten like traction where, cause people are saying that's not water because 
I was talking about it with Jill, and she's like, some of these women are adding two and three of these packets to their water. Now, I will admit, I love Crystal Light. I don't do any syrups or anything like that, but Crystal Light is good. I like it. It lets me drink water without drinking plain water. I do drink plain water, but my favorite Crystal Light is the, I like the water enhancer where it's not the powder, where it's just the drops you squeeze out of a bottle. Blackberry Lemonade. It's so good. And I watched a couple of these women on Water Talk and wow, do they make some drinks. And, you know, I, I'm not really sure why people are, are really critiquing these people. Um, just, if you don't like it, just move on, right? Um, but yeah, so I was looking for that and came across someone who was talking about this Who the Fuck Did I Marry podcast. Uh, TikTok series. It is nutty crazy. It wow. It was like well, there are some jaw dropping moments in that series, and I applaud that woman for doing those fifty parts in the course of a few days. I mean, it was a couple days that she did it, and I mean, so you think fifty parts and each video is like seven, eight, nine minutes long. So it, it's investing some time for sure. But if you like that kind of stuff, give it a listen. I want to if you search for it, you're going to find it because it's literally all over TikTok. People are reacting to it. People are talking about it. So you won't have any trouble finding it. And then today when I was diamond painting, I decided to watch Alfred Hitchcock Presents. And this is the black and white series back a long time ago. Uh, Amazon Prime has a couple of the seasons on there. I actually purchased one of the seasons because when I went in to watch the first season again, it said I purchased it. And I was like, okay, there's like 50 episodes in a season. It's so good. It's like suspense, you know, Alfred Hitchcock. So I was watching that today while I was diamond painting. And when I was diamond painting, I ran out of the white diamonds because they included three bags of them and I used up an entire tray. So if you remember when I kitted this one up, I had filmed it and I had encountered extreme static. Well, someone made a good point that it's due to the weather. You know, it's very dry inside here. It's cold outside. All of that can affect the diamonds in a packet. But they also said, if you breathe your breath in the packet, it tends to dissipate the static. So I could tell when I pulled out the second white packet to empty into the tray that there was static. So I was like, okay, I'm going to breathe. I'm going to empty the diamonds in the tray, what'll come out. But then I'm going to breathe in the packet. And it worked. I got out almost all of the diamonds out of that pack. I probably only left like five maybe in the pack. So thank you to whoever told me that little tip. So I will be using that going forward. But you have to be careful. Like I was careful to take a breath with my mouth nowhere near the bag because you don't want to inhale diamonds, right? Yeah. But yeah, so that's really all that's going on. Tomorrow we are going to the grocery store and I think we're going to go to Costco because we need a couple things from there. And I mean, we haven't eaten out minus last Friday for Charlize's birthday. We haven't eaten out at all. So we are saving some money in that regard. And I've really, really, really been trying to not spend a bunch of extraneous money. It is easier said than done because 
groceries. We needed stuff for the bath for our shower on Amazon. It's like this week I must have gotten something from Amazon every single day and I'm like, I just want, I just want a week where I don't spend money like that. I'm trying. I'm trying. And I did not purchase any kits from Diamond Art Club today from their releases. So that was, it's been, I want to say, two months maybe since I've purchased a diamond painting. I did sign up for a couple newsletters, though, from a couple, a couple of these companies that potentially could get Hannah Lynn's business. And I've already been getting some emails. I signed up for Dreamer Design, so I've been getting their emails. And they have some nice diamond paintings. I'm still only wanting rounds, so I hope that whoever does get her business that they do some of these in round and not square. Oh, and that's square diamond painting. So it is Forest Sprite by Christine Karen. I think what I'm going to do, instead of selling it, at the uh, Stitch NJ retreat that Arlene puts on, she always does a raffle for pets, for animals. It's like a shelter. And she always takes donated items, raffles them off. Last year, I had brought a diamond painting in like a project bag. And so I think I'm going to take that diamond painting in July. I'm going to take it and donate it and just let her raffle it off. I think I'll probably take a tool kit from another kit because I had taken the tool kit out of it. But I think I'll do that. Yeah, I, I'd rather donate it. And let her do that, you know. But yeah, so that's all I really have to share with you guys. Not too much going on. I really haven't been reading. I decided I canceled my Kindle Unlimited just trying to save some money. And I have requested two books that I wanted to read from the library and I'm waiting for them to come in. One is Alex Michalides. I'm pretty sure that's the author. The guy that wrote The Silent Patient or The Woman. I don't know if it's a woman or a man. But they have a new book called The Fury. And Jill said it was good. She read it. So I requested that today from my library. So I'll probably be taking a little bit of a break from reading until I can get that book from the library. And that's okay because... You know, just like anything else, I get kind of burnt out from reading. Like when that book comes in, then I'll, you know, probably not be doing so much diamond painting or stitching and we'll be reading. So, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good. And that's it. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.